Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're holding our uh, monthly tech meet uh, and we're going to be doing a tune-up on a Silver Cloud 3. Pretty slick, aren't they? Very cool. Luckily they're not made out of aluminum, so you can do that. Well, yeah, they don't work on aluminum. This is true. Or plastic. says the gap is 39. I was pretty close. I said 38, right? My old gauge, so. Which also means they got it right. No. <laughs> no, they were too tight. <laughs> they weren't perfect. What do you expect for a dollar or something? All right, now the fun one. You just can't hardly even see. You to check it out. There's a lot going on on these uh, right-hand drive ones on this side. You've got your fuel lines coming in here. You've got your battery cable with a starter and starter solenoid. You've got the parking brake cable with all these silly little pulleys that thread through it. And if you pull a steering box on one of these as opposed to the other side, it's twice as much labor. They are because of this box in the way. Um, sorry, did I say no, no, okay. trick, okay. trick. It's, they it's are, a they trick. are a trick. Okay, now, okay, I, now can I can see a little, see a little hole, hole in here with my, with my special, special tool. tool. And, and you got to keep the angle of the angle, right? Angle, right? So start it, start it. How easy is that, right? Is that, right? Now, can you now, imagine, you imagine trying, trying to get your head in there, back like back this, this, and then, and then turning, turning clockwise, clockwise and balancing and, balancing and not cross-threading it? So, so, when people say, well, this is really hard, it's not if you have the right tools and experience. Now these do not have to be tightened very much. Maybe 12 foot pounds, I think. There's a, uh, a crush washer on there, so you know when this this little this is all the leverage I got right here. It's just wrist tight. Depending on your age, that varies a lot. I know. It sucks. <laughs> I'm getting weak. I used to put 40, now it's 20. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see, we'll get these plugs in. You can see it's got this little heat shield here. You want to make sure your spark plug wire is behind the heat shield, not up against the exhaust, because uh, it'll run great until it melts. And, and usually you will feel a little click when you snap that. Okay, we might as well put this panel on while we're here. Uh, let's see. They always seem to go in a lot easier than they come out. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's my attitude. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, on the internet there are one, two, three, four, five top ones. There are three on the side, and then there's one big five sixteenths down here. Uh, if you want to get it all right, and a real common problem on these, get a tool here, is those threads in that panel to hold it in. They uh. They uh, can get stripped, and they're supposed to be quarter 28, and you can see the threads on this are a little boogered up. Torque them with heavy. Well, air ratchets, yeah. not aligning them. You see if I want to put these bolts in right now, I can't, I can't even see the holes. Here's a little trick I got to where you can force it in there and get, get the hole and kind of wiggle it. Get the thread started. And hopefully it doesn't fly out. Ratchet. So with any luck, the rest of them are going to be closer. So 
you saying for, so for the factory air, they move it up higher, you say? The factory air, you wouldn't even see any hoses down there. They come inside up above the AC lines, right up in this corner. So these hoses are way up out of the way. That's the way it's supposed to be. But unfortunately, this hose is in the way. And for us to correct it, we're going to just open up a big can of worms. We're not going to do that today. It was there before. We'll use a high-tech uh, plastic zip tie to tie them instead of the twine. So you're saying for so for the factory air, they move it up higher. You say the factory air, you wouldn't even see any hoses down there. They come inside from the engine compartment. Uh, there might be some lines. They I think they put the dryer out here, so there's some steel lines that come down and they they hook to the back side of this. My preferred uh, color, black. You don't have those cool blooms that match the hoses on that. Oh, yeah. that one car, that was special, yeah. wasn't it? That was pretty special. Yeah. Am I missing a couple of uh, bolts on that uh, panel? Yes, you are. Yeah. You're right, Ray. Hmm? Ray pointed it out there. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to get the wrench. <laughs> and I have learned to lift and put them straight on instead of lift and then turn because I have a back issue and I have uh, been disabled a bit. So this is the right side. You tighten it to the right. That was like a Bueller moment there. Bueller, Bueller, and all empty anyone? faces. Anyone? I don't know, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> all right, now next side. You can leave them loose and put the spark plug wires on and it'll run. It'll probably run a good 100 miles or so before one of them blows out because it'll ratchet its way out, and it makes a god awful noise when an engine is running and you got one plug out. How do you know, pow, 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 pow. How do you know that, Ryan? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Bill. <It> was nice. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> it's called experience. It's the best teacher. So you don't always need an awl to start these. Just to sum. And this wheel is turned. Pretty close, because that's what that groove is for. Groove that's there, is it? Pretty close, because that's what that groove is for. That's pretty close. Yeah.
wheel up here. Line up your valves down. Nice. Boom. Boom. <laughs> to some Scott. <laughs> <laughs>